Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled In Memory of Rabbi Dr. Norman Lamb, Zayafet Sadik Nebracha. Torah world, the YU world. Lost a giant this past week, the passing of Rabbi Lamb, Baruch Hashem, he was Zohar Tarichus Yamim, passed away in his 90s, and he was one of the great Talmudim. Soloveitchik, his Hespe 25 years ago, 30 years ago, Rav Soloveitchik at the, his funeral in YU, Hespe did it, passed away on Pesach. He had uh, Rav Soloveitchik, Rav Aaron, eulogized him in Boston, and then in YU at the Shloshi, Rabbi Dr. Norman Lamb eulogized him. That itself is a classic work. And I think Rabbi Dr. Ari Berman, the present president of YU, really captured the man. A very Beautiful line. He was an artist and an architect. Rabbi Berman had a special connection with him because when he was serving as the assistant rabbi at the Jewish Center with the Rabbi Jacobs, Rabbi Lamb was davening there at the time, and he would review every week his address, his drasha. What was it? What he missed? One time, Rabbi Lamb said. I forgot to trust him. Just remind me. He said, oh, I guess Rabbi Berman said, I guess it must have been uh, not so good. He said, no, your opening joke was too good. I remember that too much. And every word, every joke, every example was measured and thought through in Rabbi Lamb's speeches. And he thought of Rabbi Berman in the same way. He was an artist in creating his speeches, his writing, his thought. Rabbi Berman says beautifully, he was an artist and an architect. Sometimes you have a person who's an artist, has all these abstract ideas. But to bring them down, the reality is that's another person's job. Very often the person cannot be the artist and the architect. Rabbi Lamb had these grand ideas, ideas of synthesis, to remind us, centrist orthodoxy, terms that he coined. And he brought them down. 40 years ago, half a century ago, while he was at the brink of closure, bankruptcy, was able to go ahead and bring it back to a multi-million dollar institution where there was money in reserve to get through the hard times and keep it going. And he brought down his ideas of Torah Mada. People argued, people agreed, people disagreed. Even in his introduction to the book, the famous book, Torah Manda from 30 years ago. Even in that book, he writes, thank you to everyone. Even those who argue with me, even those who disagreed with me, even those who sometimes disagree with me to the point that it wasn't so civil, thank you to everyone. His ideas, we discuss and we argue. We lost a great man this week. An artist, and an architect, a prolific writer, a person who's not familiar with his writings, worthless. His ideas on the Torah, on the Parsha, his speeches from what his day as a pulpit rob in the 60s, 70s. Working with Chaim Veloz and Torah Lishma is a masterpiece. It would be the greatest way for one's own learning to benefit and grow in the greatest way benefit and carry on his legacy. Shalom.